Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen once again. Uh, my name is Ronald and uh, once again, as usual, those of you who watch my videos, I want to appreciate you. Thank you for following me and thank you for giving me uh, comments. And uh, today we're going to make something very simple and that is making just simple rice. Uh, uh, my whole goal today is to make basically a rice and teach you how to make rice. Some people ask, oh, how, do, how much water do I put in? What do I put? What do I do this? Blah, blah, so on and so forth. Today we're going to make some unique rice. Basically rice you can eat without a sauce on it or anything, anything in it. So basically it's going to be simply um, some vegetables in it, uh, carrots and so on and so forth. Okay. I'm going to make on the side of a chicken, a chicken sauce as well. You don't have to pay so much attention to that. As a usual, again, you use whatever you have in the kitchen to actually make something amazing. Okay. Okay. So as you can hear right now, the microwave is on. I'm trying to do, to throw out the chicken that I got from the freezer. Uh, it's always a good idea to keep a bunch of stuff in the freezer. Now, given that it's this COVID-19, you never know when you ever go back to the shops so to even pick up what you need. Uh, we have a few carrots here, some onions. Uh, you also have chicken stock. Uh, if you, they, I did a video about making chicken stock. If you want to check that out, this is throwing out right now. I'm also going to put some uh, uh, chickpeas in there as well, and those are so frozen as well here. Um, I have some spices here which I basically buy from Costco. Uh, again, just simple tips basically if you prefer to buy stuff like that. Okay, so let's get some carrots done first of all. ahead and pre-cut already some things here that I'm gonna show you uh, basically um, I'm going to have also defrosted the chicken I'm gonna cut it up right now and then we're gonna get cooking right now basically immediately as you can see I'm having myself a smoothie basically if you want to look up a video uh, how to make a, a quick smoothie I already did some uh, uh, videos already up there so you see that link up there or at the end of this video you'll be able to see it okay so uh, it was a different video that I did last time, but this is like say uh, a berry kind of a smoothie and uh, a bit of banana. Mm. Okay, so let's continue cooking then. Okay, so right now, uh, by the way, a good tip, just so you know, it's a good idea to always have uh, some kind of sorts of different colors of cutting boards. Uh, you have a red one like for your meats, or you have a yellow one for like your chicken. I do have this yellow one. This is actually from like say Walmart or whatever, but I put it on top of the other cutting board to actually protect the other one and also to just cut chicken specifically, okay? And also, I mean, while you add it, if you're able to get like a red knife, because I already have different colors, it's technically this one here, this color right here should be only and only for fish. Uh, this green one here should be for vegetables and then uh, basically as you go, but this is so knives like this or the black ones are um, multi-purpose ones, you can use them for anything but colors do stand for something just so you just so you are aware. Uh, right now I'm just going to use this one here. Okay, so I'm going to cube this chicken, it's not really much cutting up here it's more like a bit cubed up. It's gonna be like a chicken stew essentially, but using uh, chicken breasts. So as you can see, uh, how big that cube is. They're not that big really. It's just simple chunked up uh, cubes of chicken. And also it's important to keep uh, a distance of your chicken from other things and wash your hands and wash dishes as soon as you're done. Uh, wash your whatever you've used with a raw chicken. It's very, very important. 
Okay, so basically, as usual, we uh, you can use whatever oil you want, but for our um, rice. I prefer to use a bit of coconut oil, so that's what we're going to use. Okay, so right now we're gonna go, I have two different um, things going right now. One is chicken and one is gonna be the rice. So in the rice, I'm gonna put a bit of uh, onion, as you can see. And then, so that is going, and I'm also gonna put some onions in here as well. As you can see, I did. I have different uh, carrots. I have these uh, uh, basically cubed or diced ones, and then I have the, sh the shredded ones. Um, so, right now, so as you can see. Okay, so I'm not trying to rush it. I'm gonna leave the heat a little bit almost close to medium. Uh, but in the meantime, right now, I have that going. Um, and this is the rice going as well. Um, just gonna give them time. Remember, when you're cooking, don't rush. Because some people tend to put everything all in at once. That once you do that, honestly speaking, you won't get the flavors you want. You're not creating the flavors. I mean, it, it takes time to create those flavors. I mean, not like say hours, but it takes a few more minutes. Just a few minutes, like right now, as you can see. If you're watching me as I do this, right? Look at that. They're starting to start turn slightly caramelized or slightly brownish. Same thing with this side right now. Everything is starting to turn that way. So that is a good thing right there, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the chicken right now in here so that chicken is gonna be going in there so the chicken is in um, I'm gonna work that slowly on that side and in the meantime also the main thing today as I said we're focusing on is the rice so in terms of the rice right now, there we have it. Now I'm gonna put in the shredded carrots in here. Uh, again, we love carrots, so I'm gonna use carrots in ours. You do not have to use carrots, but I'm giving you reason, reasons why we're using this. First and foremost, when you put carrots in your food, you are uh, creating a sweetness to your food, first of all. So instead of using, like, say, sugar and whatever else, you may use just carrots. One is going to give you the sweetness, two is going to give you the color as well. So when by the end of this, you'll see what the rice looks like. Between this and the chickpeas that I'm going to put, I mean, sorry, the green peas that I'm going to put in, you'll see the big difference uh, because that what makes your rice really vibrant and looking good. So here's our chicken. So while that is going there, slowly, we have this as well going. Smell that the onions I can smell the aroma right now without even adding any other ingredients I can already smell the beauty that's coming out of everything right now it's beautiful your house is gonna smell first of all this is when someone walks into your, your house and then and then tells you and then they, they ask you oh what is cooking Some, something smells good you know so that, no, I don't have those carrots completely all the way so right now it's as simple as that. And right now we're gonna put in rice. Just gonna we're going to make this study for us here um, only two cups. So basically for every cup you put in, in into of rice, you have two cups of water to put in. So one cup of, of, of rice, two cups of water. I've put in, in there right now 
uh, two cups of um, of rice. That means now I'm going to double that up as well. That means I'm gonna have four cups of water. Okay, I've already put water in here in the kettle. Um, I'm going to pour the first cup. Second cup in, goes in. And then now I'm going to put some chicken stock, as you can see right now. Um, this chicken stock, I know how much it is. This is another cup of chicken stock. So I'm going to put that in here. If you want, you, would, you, you could warm it up first before you put it in, but I know it's going to be fine in there anyways. So now I am just have to add just one more cup to make it four cups. And basically right now, as you can see, that is it in there. And now at this point, you don't have to add anything else if you don't want to. Uh, but by right now, I'm gonna put in a bit of salt. You could have put it, put it before, but I'm gonna put it right now. Just I'm gonna put like say, as you can see right now, that is basically like what? Uh, not even almost a teaspoon because I have a sauce cooking on the side. So just for the sake of it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna season this rice completely to pretend like I don't have a sauce with it. So if I wanted to eat this by itself, now I'm putting a bit of uh, roasted garlic. Okay, I'm also putting in a bit of Italian in there. Those are amazing, amazing, amazing flavors. Okay, and also I'm putting in a bit of that dried uh, parsley as well. Okay, now that's gonna give it a bit of green color as well. And also at the same time, I'm gonna put the chickpeas. I mean, so the green peas, I keep saying the chickpeas. Um, at this point, as you can see, the color is already building in there, right? It's really, 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 really building in there right now, as you will see. Now, why am I not putting the green peas yet? Because I do not want my green peas to turn brown completely before, but because I, they cook for a very short time. If I put them in all the way right now, they'll completely turn, they'll turn brownish eventually. So I'm gonna give it some time right now before I can put them in. So now, at this point, that's it. Just give it time and I'll show you what else is gonna be happening. So. I'm putting a bit of, oh, now see those ingredients are all in here right now. And now I want this to be a bit thicker. What does that mean if I want it to be a bit thicker? I'm going to put in a bit of flour in there, okay? So that when I add in water, uh, it's gonna be a bit of a thicker sauce, okay? I also have a bit of, as you can see, my soy sauce. At this point, honestly, you can even finish it off like this and just eat it if you, if you want it. Because look at that, right? That already looks really beautiful already by itself without even adding too much in it because it's already seasoned as you can see now as you can see that rice is bubbling away as you can see it's still okay nothing is pressuring you right now and i'm gonna let it keep going while i work on the other one on, on this one here all right so right now as i said i'm putting in a bit of flour at this point and the amount of flour you put in here will determine the amount of sauce or the thickness you have in here don't be scared because right now it looks a bit tougher in the, uh, uh, at the bottom but that's a good thing right now you're going to uh, put in some water in there and basically get this uh, all awakened see that once you do that it wakes up it really works up okay and as i said uh, now i'm going to use a bit of chicken stock in here as well which we pretty much which i i, I pre-made and it's in my freezer i always put a bit more uh, in there to give more of that flavor okay there we have it now we're gonna give this time um at this point I'm gonna put in I'm putting in a bit of tomato sauce in there. I 
put in those carrots that we I wanted to put in. Okay, so at this point right now, as you can see, those are uh, it's creating some kind of holes in there, like it's bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. So right now I'm gonna turn the heat down a bit because it, it's losing water a lot. At this point right now, I'm deciding to put in my green peas, okay? So they're not completely cooked all the way. They're actually partially frozen, just so you know, but it won't take that long for those peas to completely cook, okay? Uh, you don't really have to stir it at all, but I'm just going to stir it right now for, so I can incorporate all those uh, chickpeas properly in there so it's completely all around well I mean as you can already see the amazing colors in there it's looking really really beautiful um, look at that those colors in there and believe me it's only now another few minutes at this point right now because as you can see at the bottom there's no water really there's hardly any water what I'm, I'm going to do right now at this point it's very simple. I'm just gonna basically reduce this heat down to pretty much low and cover it up and the rest. And it's just going to basically use a small water in there plus the low heat and it's just going to steam up properly. So by the time we open up again, that will be golden and all done. All right, and we are basically almost done here. Um, if you can see that right there, first and foremost, you can see the beautiful colors in there. The or, uh, the yellow, the orange uh, carrots. You see the uh, the the green peas in there, and a bit of the herbs that I put in there. And I assure you, you can eat that right the way it is. Now, if you look at our sauce. The sauce is also done. It has a nice thickness to it as well. Um, as you will see, as I, as I told you, if you have watched a video from me about soups, uh, basically you tell by the thickness on how it looks on the back of the spoon. I didn't want to be too thick, but it's just thick enough. Okay, so it's time to plate this bit. Yeah. Okay, so the whole point of you making an amazing rice and the way you can tell you've made an amazing rice is when you see your rice literally fall apart like that just one by one you literally see every seed per seed not broken apart but you see that basically the rice is completely cooked properly but not too cooked that it's falling apart every grain is by itself but it's fully 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 cooked i mean look at that now that is beautiful right there okay so and then now um at this point honestly speaking i can eat this rice the way it is i don't have to do anything else with it because right see that is basically looking really really good now i'm gonna give this a test That's good. Just the way it is, without even adding anything else. It's just perfect, you know? Um, but, since I made some sauce, I'm going to add sauce on here, which is our chicken sauce. I know, it's like a dou double portion of carrots on there, as you will see. Because I love carrots. So basically look at that. Now, this is a double whammy here. As you can see basically the chicken, the rice, everything combined together like that. That is a beauty right there. You see that? Mmm! Woo! Ha! But good! Woohoo! Ha! Woohoo! Really hot. Okay. Anyways, I think I should do make a plate for my wife before I finish it because I'm about to finish it right now. Put 
my question once again and if you love what you've just seen and you'd love to see more videos from me please check my uh, go to my uh, uh, my youtube channel as well uh, it's called cooking with ronald and uh, please like subscribe share and also comment and tell me of course a thing or two that you'd love to see in my videos i uh, maybe another uh, uh, different kind of a dish you'd like me to, to be making i would definitely make that for you okay so check out the two videos you see right there side by side because again those are some of the beautiful things that i make thank you for coming to my kitchen and have a great one bye now <laughs>